spitting. Thank God I'm by myself. Uh, this, this episode, I don't know what episode we on, but I do know we have three more episodes to go. So, the, hey, this episode came in with fire. This was the second best episode of the um season. These next three episodes, we expecting the same fire, Issa. The same fire. Do not let up. This is it. We don't have next season. So we need you. Okay, let me stay focused. First of all, their girls' night made me want to link up with my always busy, can't make it, can't do it, I got to be home to my husband, friends. I want us to have a girl's name. And is it an ex that I would want to contact me? Maybe. Mind y'all business. This was such a great episode. And we also know that Tiffany is going to be moving to Denver. Which, technically speaking, as, as a person... I think that's an awesome move to be closer to his family because with family, that means it's more support with the baby, but it's hard leaving your friends because they're your, they're your support also. So we're going to see where that's going to go because we only got three more episodes for them to tell us how that's going to go or where that's going to go or how that's going to go. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, With Molly, I kind of, sort of, a little bit like her and what's his name torrent was it torrent tori y'all know who i'm talking about i kind of like her with him i think he's her kind of balance because he don't he's not a yes man and he don't let up and he's strong and he's very masculine and you know she's like she's a dominant woman so i feel like this creates some type of balance for her to bring it down a little bit. So now she texts him. I can't wait to see what the reply is about them seeing each other outside of work. Kelly is, Kelly is me. <laughs> I don't know. I always say this. I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm relatable to Issa and Kelly. So I'm like the two of them. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. First of all, that jumper that Kelly came in on, baby, who, who, who is that by? Cause sis, I want me one of those. That was very cute, but she's so in touch with everything. But at the same time, she's such a free spirit and I enjoy that about her. And then there's Issa. Issa had a good day today, didn't she? Um, you, it's that secret that you always have from your friends. And it don't even be a secret. It's just I don't want to tell nobody because I don't want to talk about nobody. And she finally tells her friends that she saw Lawrence and the baby and Condola. And it also goes back to a few episodes ago when she imagined that Condola was standing behind her. And she was telling her what her life was like because she assumes that they're together. Not even knowing what the actual situation is because she hasn't spoken to him. But then... Here come Kelly like, nah, girl, uh-uh, sis. It ain't what it looked like. They was at that party, baby, and we thought we was going to have to call the police. Like, we had to separate them and everything. Like, they had to take time out. And I feel like even though if my ex moved on into another relationship, I don't wish nothing bad to happen, but I don't know if I necessarily feel bad if I hear it ain't working out. No, that might make me it might make me something and it might make it might not make me nothing because realistically I'm really not thinking of anything when it comes to them in a relationship anyway so so now y'all they ha ha I swear if my friends are only watch my YouTube videos and they would see this watch this episode we need a night like this we're supposed to be playing on a night like this but they so fake busy you know how that go. But um, uh, when everybody leaves, here comes Nathan. And at first I was nervous because he was talking kind of slow. And then he said it. He said he loved her, which is crazy because him not saying he loved her back in that episode, it didn't even dawn on me that he didn't say that he loves her back until the next episode. But at the same time, 
he always showed her that he loved her. If that makes sense, like I always thought that he was in love with her because he was so hurt the way things had handled and how she had handled him. So him loving her, I knew that. I just feel like he he explained himself. He was hesitant because of what they had been through and he didn't know where they were going to go. So then bam, boom. Of course, when that's working out and you smiling and you on the high from that, who's calling? That call that you called last night in the middle of the night, they calling you back. To, you called me, what, what happened? And she sends him to the voicemail. I was hoping that he had sent the voicemail. At first, I'm not even gonna lie, when everybody left and you know, she was just like recapping the night. Music was playing, I was like, oh my God, Lawrence is gonna knock the door. Lawrence is knocking, oh my God. But it wasn't Lawrence, it was Nathan. So then we, let's, 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 let's keep it to going. Kendola and um Lawrence and them interacting as co-parents was a beautiful thing and because we know where they came from just off one episode and to see them now. And I like it because they he's get they get to see the genuine him because he wasn't around during her pregnancy and because of the situation it was it, it made him come up as an asshole, but he admitted that he was an asshole in some situations because this wasn't the plan for his life. His plan was never to have a baby by this lady. He was supposed to be probably married to Issa by now, realistically, like, that's how TV goes. And that's not how it went. But how he was just excited to see that her sister was following him. And then for her to be like, no, that was a fuck up follow. Like, she made a mistake and followed you. But he just wanted her, like, basically, like, I want your sister to like me. I want her to see the real me and not the person that you have painted for her to believe that it's me. And then he put her bookcase together. And for a moment, the lighting and the music and the mood and the cute ass baby, I was like, yeah, just go on and kiss her. Go on and kiss her. But you know, I'm not rooting for him and Condola. But I was like, go on and kiss her. And he got his keys and left when she... When he told her and he she told him that she just wanted him to be happy, I feel like in that moment he realized that he is happy with Issa and maybe he wanted to go make that work. And that's crazy. You be two different people wanting the same things. But coming from Issa, I understand. And Tiffany made a good point. Like, we can't always make the right decisions. We have to make the decisions that's right for us. And... I feel like Issa would have fell into being a stepmother and it would have worked for her. I just feel like because of the situation and because of the time that they had lost within their relationship when they had broken up, I feel like she wanted to make up for that time. And with a baby being on the way by another woman it was always going to be some kind of conflict. And she wanted to just be real with herself. In the time, she just couldn't deal with that. But I feel like now that she has set, with, settled down and setting her feelings and thought about some things, she's thinking that maybe I can do this. But him calling her back, I feel like if she didn't call him, he was going to call her anyway. This was a great episode. It was. And again, I hope my friends watch this because yeah i miss y'all and we should have a, a legitimate girls night like when we pregame we go get to the spa and get some messages <laughs> and then make reservations reservations to go out to dinner because life is so short and who knows what's about to happen for us next and we might not be like this and i was thinking just like when um Molly had realized it had been three months since all of them had been together. And that's how I feel about my friends. So thank you guys for watching. We have three more episodes to go before we have to find a new show to watch. Let's continue the conversations down in the comments. Also, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell button so you can know when I drop my review. And you guys have a good night.